So this is all liver. Okay. This is the gallbladder in the center. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here you have your J-shaped stomach. The base of that is the spleen. Stomach leads into the spiral intestine. Um, where the stomach and the spiral intestine meet, you find the pancreas. There's two lobes, this round one here and this long one in between. Okay. Follow the spiral intestine down to the bottom, and this would be the rectum. Right beside it is the rectal gland. That maintains salt balance for the fish. Okay, so if you lift up the liver, you find the gonads underneath. This is male, so this is a testes. Have another testes under this side of the liver too. Okay. Now, where's the gallbladder again? Gallbladder is in the center here. Oh, okay. Little, little things to put yeah. okay. okay, now the testes is where the sperm is made. Then the sperm travels down these little coiled up tubules. This is the vas deferens. As you get farther posterior in the shark, the tubules end up uh, getting larger in diameter and becoming more straightened. So this would be considered the seminal vesicle here. And that leads down to the sperm sac here. Okay, now all of those structures, the vas deferens and the seminal vesicles, all sit right on top of this flap of tissue. This is the kidney that is retroperitoneal. It's buried in the peritoneum in the dorsal body wall. Okay, so this is all kidney. Right, this is the, the one we did. Best deference <laughs> yeah. on top. Okay. We did a good job. <laughs> well, she probably cleaned it up a bit. No, I think this is from the afternoon class. Sorry, oh. I burst your bubble. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, so you can tell this is a male shark by the uh, claspers here attached to the pelvic fins. Okay, this opening here is the cloaca. Mm -hmm. That is a common opening for the excretory system, reproductive system, and uh, digestive system. And okay, for the heart, okay, you have a, a two chambered heart. You have the atrium, very thin walled, dark gray underneath here. Uh, this one that sits on top is the ventricle, very muscular. Okay, leading away from the ventricle is the conus arteriosus. That leads to the ventral aorta and then to the gills for oxygenation. If you lift up the ventricle underneath, you find this triangular uh, region here. This is the sinus venosus. So all of this deoxygenated blood from the body pulls in the sinus venosus. That leads to the atrium, atrium to the ventricle and then ventricle to the conus arteriosus. Okay. Nervous side. The female. <clears throat> Here, I can do the brain on this one. This is pretty good. Um, okay. um, most anterior, these two bulges that you see here are the olfactory lobes for smell. Okay, just on top of that, this area right here is the cerebral hemisphere. Uh, this darker indentation here is the diencephalon. These two bulges are the optic lobes, and this oval part is the cerebellum, and then these two long branches that come together like a Y would be the medulla oblongata. Okay. Let's turn her over. Oh, oh. delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dang. Dang. Shark fin soup. Did you ever have that? Yes. Is it good? Yeah. What did you have? Shark fin soup. It was like Okay, so again, this would be the liver. Two large lobes with the gallbladder in the center. Uh, when you move the liver aside, you find her gonads. So these are the ovaries. You can see the eggs bulging out of her ovaries. Okay, the ovaries uh, lead to this tube structure here. That's the oviduct. Oviduct leads to the uterus. You know, this is a pregnant uterus. And you can see the uh, babies inside. You're going to leave the babies inside? Yeah, I'm going to leave them inside. Okay, this one back in. <laughs> so <laughs> Okay, so the babies, when they're ready to be born, would come out of the cloaca again. So you can see she does not have claspers. That indicates that she's a female. Okay. Um, that's about it. Awesome.